In Movies and Money, Top Gun Maverick is still about a Mach 9 at the box office. Let's check in now with movie man Eric Childress for more on this high-flying film. Hello, Eric. Hi, Angie. Well, Top Gun took off and is barely slowing down. Angie, this was one of those rare weekends for the box office books, and nobody imagined it was possible. A Top Gun Maverick, riding high after a record-breaking Memorial Day holiday, managed to break another. Never mind that the $90 million it made is the eighth best second weekend in box office history, but it had the smallest drop from its opening than any of the 63 films which have started with a $100 million weekend. But even that doesn't convey what an accomplishment this is. Only 15 of those films dropped less than 50% in their second weekend. Only four of those 15, which includes Frozen 2, Star Wars The Force Awakens, Shrek 2 back in 2004, and Sam Raimi's original Spider-Man back in 2002 fell less than 40%. The average drop of a film with a $100 million opening is 55.9%. Top Gun Maverick fell just 28.9%. Now, prior to that, Avatar was the film with the highest opening weekend, $77 million, with the smallest drop, a crazy small 1.8%. And Top Gun did it on a weekend that traditionally is a major fall from the holiday weekend. It's an amazing triumph for the film and the word of mouth that it is generating. Uh, including me, I'm a fan. Does Top Gun have a shot at becoming the biggest film of the summer? It seems possible to me. Well, remember last week, Angie, when we were discussing that maybe Top Gun may shoot up as high as fourth on the summer list? Well, what a difference a week makes sometimes because we are indeed talking about it having a shot to be the highest grossing film of the summer. That is not even the case of Doctor Strange beginning to falter. After five weeks of release, it is still on pace to finish somewhere around $415 million. But even after Top Gun's first week of release, no one was talking about $400 million yet the way they have with other films. But that has all changed now because Top Gun is now outpacing Doctor Strange by $3 million after its first 10 days, and that second weekend was $29 million higher. Now, Maverick is going to have its first direct challenge this weekend with one of the potential challengers for that top spot. Now, Strange had three full weekends before it had another blockbuster knock it off its perch. But even if Maverick does have a more typical drop this weekend down to around $40 million, that would put its total around $375 million domestic and likely over $700 million as it moves towards becoming Tom Cruise's biggest film worldwide ever. And I don't know if I see any film besting it this summer. Now, onto the dinosaur, stomping onto the big screen this weekend. Here's a quick look at Jurassic World Dominion. Genetic power has now been unleashed. We made a terrible mistake. The doomsday clock might be about out of time. Eric, what are critics saying about Jurassic? Well, I haven't seen all 146 minutes of Jurassic World Dominion yet, but this is a return to the series for Colin Trevorrow, who is in the director's chair for the first Jurassic World film, which went on to become the second highest grossing film ever behind only Avatar when it debuted in 2015. It is in seventh place now. But Trevorrow's skills as a storyteller have not exactly impressed critics, and his Jurassic entry is the only film in the series I personally do not enjoy. And critics I trust do not appear to be on board with this one either, despite the return of Sam Neill, Laura Dern, and Jeff Goldblum into the mix, whom I hear at least provide moments of pleasure in a story some are calling incomprehensible. Now, lesser reviews will likely not stop fans this weekend from making it the top movie. Though I have this finishing second in the summer box office race, there is a very real chance that disappointment pushes this further below the second film's $417 million, leaving more room for Top Gun Maverick to now be the favorite to win that race. A huge weekend ahead for movie fans. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Angie. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.